coming. Don't. I'm, I'm coming. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. John. I could bust you for breaking and entering. You and what army? Look at you. I'm fine. Mm hmm. Oh. Let me take that decision. Yeah. You've been up at all today? Yes, I was, John. I went to the doctor and I had my physical and I passed with flying yeah. collars. But what about you? Would you, would you find out any test results from the liters of blood that you stole from me? You know, I'd like to hear the answer to that myself. Uh, what are you doing home, baby? I just stopped by to see my beautiful wife. You know, I'm still paying the mortgage. I don't need permission. So, how's she doing? We can hear the pitter-patter little feet around here soon? No, the uh, pregnancy test came up negative, just like the home version did. Okay, so what's what's next? What um, what do we do now? I mean, you must you must know something from all those blood tests. I mean, what is it, John? I mean, do I do I have a disease? Do I have leukemia? I mean, whatever it is. Did you stop jumping into conclusions and let me do the diagnosing? So far, your tests have come out okay. Okay, good. Thank you, God. Okay, so now I just get back to uh, cuffing thugs and protecting the innocent. No, not on your life, copper. All right, I, I've played by the rules. I, I took the blood test, and I, I, I went and I had the physical, and I passed with flying colors. To a certain extent, yes, you did, but I don't really think that you're yourself. I mean, are you a naturally achy person who drags herself around the house all day long, one who can barely fold a blanket all by herself? <laughs> I am never sick. I'm the poster child for good health. I, I... Usually, I... Hey, um, look, I mean, I... I think John has a point. Things have been a little unusual lately. So you've taken the blood. What is the next step? Well, I've some extensive tests, a few more scans. John, would you just, just please tell me what's going on? I don't know. You know, you have to know something. The blood test must have told you something. And I may be a little under the weather, but I can still smell an evasion here, John. You think you know what's wrong, and, and, and I want to know what's wrong. Oh, you want to know really what your problem is? You think you can take it? Yeah, I think I can. What? You are an A number one pain in the butt. <laughs> Well, that's the truth, and that is my medical and fatherly opinion. Do you really think that I would have some kind of secret diagnosis that I would keep from you? Really? Don't you know, if I, if I had the slightest suspicion that you were sick, every specialist from here to Timbuktu would be in Oakdale right this minute, examining you, even if I had to drag you kicking and screaming to the all hospital. All right, all right, all right. Well, I'm I mean, I need, but I need some time to make a diagnosis. Does that sink into this thick skull of yours? You know what? If you'd like me to have this guy thrown out of here, I can do that. Oh, well, you see, do. the vibrant, alive daughter that I know would have thrown me out herself. Tell you what, why don't we all of us get out of it? All the three of us, let's go. It, 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 here it comes. No, listen, we'll all go grab some lunch. We'll get your strength up, then we'll fall by the hospital, check you in for a small visit. Ah, okay. Um, I am overworked, I am stressed, and I am not going to be checked into Memorial or any other hospital, thank you. So you're determined to be unreasonable about it, is that it? Well, John, you call it whatever you will. I'm not going. No. I've tried to stay out of this, honey, but you've now gotten some free advice from your personal Who physician. It was free. You think you could stand a little from your attorney? These tests that you wish my client to take, is it going to require her to be an inpatient? No, not necessarily, but I am going to need a little time to monitor liver function and stuff. Well, you already know that she's been vaccinated against hepatitis B. She's, she's not an IV drug user. She's had no blood transfusion. Doesn't that put her in... A low-risk category for hepatitis C? Well, that's wonderful. Now, there are, there are two ailments we, we will not need an overnight visit for, huh? So, you see, we're a little bit closer to solving the puzzle. Could be easy. So, as your attorney, husband, and the father of your children, take the deal. Consider me your second opinion. Just, just do these tests. Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, fourth floor lab. I'll make sure she's there. Get some rest. Thank you. Stop.
stubborn pig headed old goat. Yeah, I know. You should meet his daughter. Be a piece of cake. Why are you trembling? Because I can't remember the last time I've been this afraid. 